Hey guys, this is Surya from Skilllink. Hope you're doing well. This is a continuation of our videos which spoke about embedded system jobs, top 5 job roles for embedded systems and the skill sets that you need to become an embedded systems engineer. And in today's video, we are going to look at what are the projects that you need to take up in various areas of embedded systems to enhance your technical and management skills. Don't forget to watch the part 1 video that deals with the top 5 job roles to get a better understanding of this video. In this video, we'll look at some of the projects that are designed to help you understand the core technology and its wide range of practical applications. The practical application areas that we are going to look at today are embedded prototyping, AVR bare metal programming, ARM programming, MCU peripherals, uh, RTOS, and embedded buildings. So let's kind of start looking at embedded prototyping. In the embedded prototyping, you will have to develop a system using a simulator to display the distance to empty in an LCD interface. You will also be made to design and develop the interfaces for abstract devices such as LED, speaker, temperature sensor, and touchscreen using the embed platform. In AVR bare metal programming, you had to create drivers for serial communication using the Atmega 328P microcontroller. This is a method used to program devices to transfer programs to microcontrollers, interface with SD cards, and so on. You will work on building prototypes of circuit boards to verify that it works according to the design. This will also include working with onboard peripherals like keypads and servo motors. You will work with UART and I2C peripherals using the STM32 microcontroller. These peripherals are used to send and receive data between devices. You will develop the drivers for the analog to digital converter module in the STM32 microcontroller and smoothen out the data you receive from the sensor using software. In ARM programming for MCU peripherals, you will work on creating applications for automatic door locking mechanism and power windows for cars. You will work on controlling the speed of a DC motor using the STM32 microcontroller by using a PID controller that continuously provides a modulated signal. Similarly, in RTOS, you will work with a real-time operating system to schedule multiple tasks in order of priority using the Atmega microcontroller. You will also work on an application to trigger spark plugs on a four-cylinder engine by porting free RTOS to a STM32 based platform. And in the final project, in embedded Linux, you will work on fusing the accelerometer and gyroscope data of a MPU6050 using complementary filter applications. You will also work on the implementation of hardware that is directly attached to your embedded Linux drivers. Apart from the projects that you need to take up, we have got something interesting for you. If you are interested in pursuing your career in embedded systems, then Skillings PG certification program in embedded systems for electric vehicle applications is for you. This course is for people who want to get into embedded systems for electric vehicle applications. And this course focuses on the entry level engineers to start learning embedded systems from the basics by building their foundations on C programming and exhaustively covers bare metal coding in 8-bit AVR or 32-bit ARM architecture. For experienced engineers, this course offers in-depth coverage of RTOS concepts with example codes and Linux internals and driver development on ARM hardware. Through this course, you can get your basics strong and apply them in real-world application. This course also covers industry-leading development and debugging tools, especially for engineers building products for the embedded system marketplace. To summarize the last two videos, in the first video, we spoke about the top 5 job roles, what are the skills requirement, and in this video, we also spoke about what are the projects that you need to do. As an engineer, one of the questions you might have is, how do I get access to these projects? And that is exactly what our PG program in Embedded Systems for Electric Vehicle Applications allows you to do. If you are an experienced professional or a fresher who wants to build your career in Embedded Systems, this is a course that will allow you to excel in that. The projects that I just spoke about is exactly what you will be working on in this course for CASP. So if you are uh, looking to build a career, do not wait. Join Skillings course and get industry data.